The most common argument in favor of the moon over Mars is its proximity to Earth. It's claimed that Mars is too hard to get to, or that we'd need to refuel on the moon before launching to Mars. Let's discuss that. Transportation to the moon is relatively straightforward. It only takes three days to get there, and we have access to it all year round. The distance to Mars fluctuates as it orbits the sun, but the closest it gets to Earth is still 140 times further than the moon. You can only efficiently launch to Mars every 26 months, and the journey can take more than half a year. This means that reusable rockets could make many trips to the moon and back in the same time it would take to complete one trip to Mars. But distance and travel time are only part of the story. Getting to the moon requires a total change in velocity of 15 kilometers per second. Despite being much further, the nine-month trip to Mars only requires an additional four kilometers per second. So does it take more propellant to get to Mars? Well, no, actually. There are ways a spacecraft can change its velocity without the use of propellant. For example, Martian gravity can help to capture into orbit, then friction with the atmosphere can lower the orbit and provide deceleration for landing. By using the Martian atmosphere to slow down, the change in velocity that needs to be provided by the engines is only 13 kilometers per second. Since the moon doesn't have an atmosphere to slow down against, getting there actually requires more work from your engines. This is why refueling at the moon isn't necessary for a Mars mission. So far, I've assumed the moon and Mars vehicles have equal mass, but would they? Ideally, both would be reusable and therefore have similar design requirements, such as heat shields for returning to Earth. But what about the longer travel time to Mars? For human missions, a Mars vehicle would require more robust life support systems to mitigate the effects of space radiation and zero gravity. It may also be prudent to reduce the travel time to six months, which may still seem long, but we've kept people healthy on space stations for more than twice that long. A six month trip requires going 2.5 kilometers per second faster, but total propulsive needs would still be comparable to a moon mission. Current launch vehicles in production, such as SpaceX's Starship, should be more than capable of handling these requirements. It's important to note that even when building a base for humans, the majority of transports will be with non-human cargo. And cargo doesn't require radiation shielding, life support systems, or supplies along the way, and will be happy to take the more efficient nine-month trajectory. In summary, existing technology can send humans to Mars in six months relatively safely with similar propulsive needs to a moon mission. And cargo actually requires less propulsion to get to Mars than to the moon. Okay, but shouldn't we at least practice on the moon first? Thanks for watching. Here's the next part in the Moon vs. Mars series, or you can find the full length video in the description below.